Hi, welcome to whatever this is. I'm Ben Anderson. Hello, I am Kelton De La Cruz. And, and uh, this is a go, thing. Yes, this is a thing. Um, so I'm not entirely sure what this thing is, but it's uh me and my friend Kelton, and uh and uh, they they they. they... Hello, Kelton. Hello, hello. Uh, hello. Hello. Are 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 you dead? Can can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. Well, what happened? You cut out and then turned into an alien zombie. Let's start that again. Hello, uh, I'm Ben that's Anderson. Fine. Hello, I am apparently an alien zombie thing. Okay, take three. Hi, welcome to whatever this is. <laughs> I'm Ben Anderson. <laughs> Hi, my internet sucks back here, so there's that. All right. Uh, and today we are doing, uh, we're, we're kind of ripping off Drawfee. Uh, I, just... uh, I drew a thing, and Kelton and I are going to talk about it. This is mostly just a proof of concept to see um, if this works, and if it does work, then I'm going to do more art videos this way. But anyway, I'm going to show you... Yeah. Uh, what I worked on. So, uh, as you know, because you already saw the finished product in this case, uh, I drew an Aboleth. Yes, it's indeed. So this that is, is a rotating screen. Yeah, this is. I ha I do have to figure out a way how to keep people from getting like headaches looking at this. But this is like me doing the rough outline sketch of the Aboleth so far. <laughs> and uh, so I'm going with the three eyes here, right? Um, but I really struggled with mm -hmm. the tentacles, like. What am I going to do there? Um, yeah. That's always fun. Yeah, yeah. And also, like, unlike arms, what, what what are tentacles? Yeah. See, I, I really was proud of this curly cue. <laughs> I'm sure the Japanese would have an answer for you. They have several, I'm sure. Um, too many to count, and <laughs> they scare me. Um, I decided to get rid of the curly cue. It just felt out of place. I was trying to give it, like, a lamprey. Yeah jaw you know uh, mm -hmm. man maybe i should have slowed this down maybe just a bit that is hang on let me let me try a thing come on just just a little bit sickening um there how is it that you can do the the play at at slow down speed Well, now I know for future videos. Um, my apologies to everyone. Seriously, isn't it? I thought it was, I was pretty sure it was you right click it and then the option appears, but I guess that's not a thing that happens in real life anymore. Apparently not. All right. So I, I just gave up on the mouth entirely at that point. It's hidden, I guess. Mm -hmm. So I gave it the the back fin i started working on the fins in general getting more definition there for when i go in with my nicer layer and just another little extra fin i don't know what i was thinking about that and again <laughs> still thinking of what am i going to do with these tentacles um i decided to give like catfish feelers yeah i don't know why <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, well, one of the things is, the way that my recording software is set up is you can't see, like, all the layers and, like, my brush info and stuff. Um. Oh, that, that's lame. Yeah. Because I can either record the entire screen where I might get pop-ups, um, either from notifications or I have this stupid app that keeps giving me dumb pop-ups, um, so if you see my previous videos, that's what those are. And I was like, can I just get rid of all of that? Uh, so I found a way where I could record just the page, but it wouldn't record um, any of the layers besides the drawing layer. Um, that's annoying. Yeah. I mean, for just what's going on here, I don't hate it yet. I don't know. So here I am. I've kind of decided what I was going to do with the, some of the tentacles. Uh, sometimes I like draw through whatever I'm working on to see how it looks. Usually I do this on a second layer. 
Um, yeah. Yeah. Very so, nice. again, figuring out what I'm doing with the upper tentacles. Because <laughs> as far as I, I saw in, like, other pictures, there's only ever, like, really four tentacles on an abolith. Um, Something like that, yeah. So, that's what I just decided to go with. I always have a hard time with anything, like, arcing around, or arching around, like, a head, like, horns. Those are hard for me. Hmm. Yeah. And this is me doing the uh, the detail layer with the auto good feature. Um, it automatically mm. smooths the lines, but every once in a while, it'll just like you're going a slight gentle curve, and it'll make the line straight. Or you do something, and it's a little wobbly, and you want it straight out, it'll do nothing. It's really annoying, but usually it's it's pretty yeah. good. Here I exaggerated that back part. fin a bit more. Yeah, for the most part. I uh, I actually really like the the tail fin. Um. So what I often do is I don't do all the lines. I just do the outer line layer. Um. And then I'll fill it with um, with a, a black fill because when I do like, the ink drop tool, it, it doesn't actually go all the way to every line. There's this weird like yeah. gap it'll leave. So giving it that black backdrop will help that out. Um, probably what I did yeah. was I, I already copied the layer and then on the second layer, just like it, I draw in all the detail lines here. Mm. But since you can't see my layer um, thing, it's not showing that. Here's me figuring out how I'm doing the fin again on the tail. Um, yeah, here it is. Here's me figuring out. Um, and then I try to black all the lines as well. Uh, this part's going to give people seizures. Oh, yeah, I started using the texture tools. Uh, I was able to download some uh, scale textures. So I have a new layer, it's not the color layer, it's just a texture layer. And I can dim that and make it a little less n noticeable. Um, mm, nice. Yeah, yeah I, I've only just started really playing around with these texture brushes. As you can see from some of my experimental work, I use some hatching on the uh, eyes just to make it a little, look a little more, I guess, bug-like, even though it's a fish. A little, just a little different. Yeah. And then I'm actually shading in areas now. Nice. Uh, I've gotten into more detail with shading other things. Uh, I didn't feel like it on this one, I guess. I don't really know. Uh, I think <laughs> I was hoping, relying on the textures to do a lot more of that work carrying it over. After I use the, mm, yeah. the blur tool to kind of blend it all together. This is me going through the different types of layers. To try to see which one looks best on the scale. I just use a normal layer. And there it is. Nice. There's the Aboleth. Very nice. Yeah. So, um, that was Ben Draws an Aboleth. Um, I hope you all, yeah. en hope you all enjoy it. And uh, next time, uh, I think the goal is for Kelton, Corbin, and I to all draw beholders. And then we'll we'll all have a video on that. We will see how that goes. Because uh, you're pretty new to the art software. And Corbin yeah. doesn't do any like recording as far as I'm aware. I don't think so. Yeah. Well, also, I'm just... Well... Not fairly new to art in general, but... I've never heard yeah. of it before last week. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, digital art is a thing to get used to, I say, being totally yes. an expert who definitely knows uh, what <laughs> I'm doing. Okay, Kelton told me about the different texture layers, because I didn't know that was a thing the software could do. 
So yes, yeah. All right. It is an important thing to know. All right. Well, uh, we'll try for the next time uh, doing yeah, the holders. Yeah. I think. Anyway, I'm Ben Anderson. I'm Kelton Dill Cruz. And bye bye. Sayonara. <laughs>